Hey friends, I am so excited to be sitting down with you guys today. It's Becky Baxter doing a solo episode of the Kingdom Minded Mompreneur, and we are going to talk about mini chat. So for those of you that are new to this idea or have never heard of it, or you're just wanting to learn a little bit more on how you can leverage this automation system, I am so excited to share my personal thoughts on it and also just some things and ways like that you can use this resource. So for those of you that are like, what is mini chat? What are you talking about, Becky? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> You're in the right place. So mini chat is a cloud-based chat bot. So this is a basically third-party system that you can link to your social media to help you automate conversations, okay? So this could be with customers, with team members, with, you know, just to provide value to your audience. And we're going to dive a little bit more into each of these ideas here in just a minute, but it can be used on a ton of different platforms, okay? It can be used on Instagram, on Facebook, I think on TikTok, there's lots of different places. I even saw like outside of social media, there's some other ways it can be used too. So it really, mostly what I have seen network marketers do and, you know, direct sellers is it's really mainly been used to automate messages, but on the back end, you can do things like, you know, tag the, the people that are engaging with you with certain things. It offers, you know, this like live chat, more engaged, very fast, like super fast response from you or the business so that it makes people feel like they're hearing from you right away. So it really honestly like speeds up the sales cycle because people nowadays are in this, you know, Amazon Prime, you know, very fast paced world. Like, you know, because of social media and because of technology and all the resources and things that we have access to, a lot of times people begin to expect a response right away or expect, um, you know, support right away, or even when they order something, right? Like how many of you guys get frustrated when you order something on Amazon and it takes longer than like two days, you know, you're like, wait a minute, I, if you're paying for Amazon prime, you're like, I should have that thing tomorrow. Right. And so it's not to say it's necessarily a bad thing, but it is to say that, you know, if someone is messaging you, about a product or a service or a business opportunity, and they're not super connected to you per se, they may go to the next person if you take longer to respond. People are usually, if they're interested in purchasing something or signing up, they want to do it right then. Otherwise, the interest level goes significantly down when it takes longer than you know, 30 minutes, like it literally, if it takes longer than just a few minutes for you to get back to someone, the interest level goes down. And so what I love about mini chat is it really gives you this opportunity to get to people right away without feeling like you have to be tied to your phone. How many of you guys, you know, you post something on social media and you realize you're like excited because it's gaining traction and you're getting all these comments and engagement, but then you're, you're like, oh my goodness, if I step away for even just five minutes, I'm going to lose all of these leads, right? Well, mini chat takes that away. Okay. It takes that concern. It takes that, you know, overwhelm. And I personally have been using it and I really love it. Like I love this resource. It gives me confidence to say, you know, comment this word or message me this word and to feel like, I can step away and know that the system is in place and I can rely on it. So I'm going to share with you guys 10 different ways that you can use mini chat and just know that like you do not have to use all of these. There are some that I honestly haven't even really used or taken advantage of, but, but you can, okay. I want you to know that and be aware that this resource is more than just, you know, a chat bot, right? It's more than just you know, sending a message right away, okay? So the first way is to offer customer support. So what I mean by this is you can set up an automated response 
for like frequently asked questions, right? So maybe you have, you know, people who are like, maybe they're interested in the business. And so you do a post about, you know, answering uh, the most frequently asked questions. And you can say like, comment the word question. And you can very easily, either from your phone or from a desktop computer, um, so they have an app, okay, but you can very easily create like an FAQ, right, or frequently asked questions on the business opportunity so that you don't necessarily have to get on Zoom or get on phone, get on the phone with someone and answer, you know, all their questions and take like 45 minutes. But instead, you have this document where if someone's saying, hey, I really do have, you know, questions and I'm interested you have this opportunity to quickly send them something, okay? So that's one way, is to just offer customer support. The second way is lead generation. And I think this is the most powerful way that you can use ManyChat. If you are in direct sales or marketing or social selling of any kind, lead generation is how you make money, right? That's how you build your business. And so what I think is so great is you can really collect leads by offering free resources. Maybe you are in the health and wellness space. And so you offer like, you know, um, 10 healthy in a hurry meals for your, that's family friendly. And it's on a, it's on a, maybe it's on, on your email list or something. And so you ask them to opt into that. Okay. So you can set up a funnel to provide value and to give you leads, get the people on your email list. You can also offer discounts. You can say, you know, message me the word code and I'll send you a 10% off discount. You know, the first, however many people can get it or um, even special offers, right? So like sometimes people will exchange their contact information, like their email in exchange for, you know, some kind of offer, like, you know, a buy this and get this free, like enter in a code at checkout, or even if you've got some kind of promotion going on with your company where it's like $20 enrollment, you can say like, hey, you know, message me the word enroll to jump on, you know, take it access, take advantage of this $20 enrollment or whatever. And so you can message them, you can set up this automated campaign that will message them the link to take action on it right away. You don't have to be sitting there, right? And so I just love it for lead generation because I feel like this is a way for you to do a lot of things at once because ultimately we are all just one person, right? <laughs> like I can only do so many things at one time. And how many things can you do effectively when you're really scattered and trying to figure everything out versus something like mini chat can do it for you, okay? Um, another thing that you can do is set up, so number three is to create marketing campaigns. And what I think is cool about this is you can target your messages based on user behavior, okay? So let's just say, um, like for example, I have personally messaged with this one creator multiple times, right? Like I have checked out her different offers. I've purchased some things from her, but because of that, because of my behavior, and she knows that I'm engaged in her content with mini chat, you can set up things like a tag. So you can say, Hey, tag this person with, um, passive, Okay, for this one creator, I purchased her passive income course. Okay, so she may have an offer or a funnel, excuse me, on mini chat where she tags people with the word passive. Like, okay, she, you know, Becky has purchased my passive income course or she, Becky clicked on passive income. So then later on, when she looks at the data and says, okay, you know, I had a hundred people I'm just using random numbers. I had a hundred people who clicked on passive income because it tagged the, anyone that clicked on it, right? And so because of that, I'm going to send a message to the people that clicked on passive income and I'm gonna send them this video, this value, or I'm gonna send them this new offer because they were obviously interested in this other thing. So they might be interested in this, right? So if you're selling a product, maybe a product for, um, 
you know, I don't know, like weight loss or something. And people click on it. Okay. You can look at the data and say, wow, okay. I had this hundred people click on it. So I'm going to send them this message being like, Hey, did you have a chance to try blank yet? We're offering a promotion for $20 off, right? So you have that data saying, okay, this person showed interest in the past, or maybe they did purchase it. But now there's maybe some kind of company promotion going on where you could send them a $20 off code. And that tells you right away, okay, I have 100 warm leads, 100 people that already said they were interested in this product. And so now I can send them a message knowing that they were interested before. So they may purchase again or purchase for the first time. Okay. So it can really be a powerful marketing tool for not a lot of money to give you insights in how people are engaging with your content. All right, number four is product recommendations. And so one way, especially for direct sellers, you know, some of you guys may only have a couple of products that you're really focused on selling. And then some of you may have a ton of products. And so, you know, with the holidays coming up, this might be a great way for you to, you know, curate a list of your like, top five products to, you know, get through the holidays with ease, or, you know, maybe you are in the health space. And so you're like saying, Hey, here's, you know, five ways to keep the weight off through the holidays. Okay. And so you can create a campaign and maybe the five different ways, like three of them are just valuable things. And like, life hacks, right? But then maybe two of them are products that you're like, hey, these will really actually help and you have links to the products. And so people can opt in to receive a message from you, okay, with not only those other ways like hacks and tricks, but some actual product recommendations, right? And so I just think this is a really powerful idea and a way that you can be connecting with people without, like I said, necessarily saying like, oh, here's my link to shop. Because sometimes people get overwhelmed by that and be, it's a little bit of like analysis paralysis versus you saying, here's some very strategic and specific product recommend recommendations based on, you know, that season, that time of year or their interest. All right. Number five. You can use mini chat for appointment booking or like consultations or, you know, like creating reminders or, you know, managing cancellations or rescheduling. And I thought this was really cool because, you know, if you want to, maybe you've got um, someone who is really interested in the business and they are like, I'm really interested, but they have a bunch of questions. That FAQ list was not enough. You know, maybe this is a really big decision for them. Maybe they're going to transition from another company or they just really want to talk to you, right? A really good way to qualify that lead is to get on Zoom. And so you may set up some kind of um, mini chat funnel for people who decide to book an, a like book a consultation or book a call or you know, book a Zoom, whatever you want to call it. And so I think this is a unique way of qualifying leads and maybe something a little different. You can also set up um, business chats, right? Where you could use this to say like, select which one you would, you know, the appointment or the meeting or the, you know, the look and learn, whatever you want to call it. But you can use it as well to set up for anyone who wants to learn more about the opportunity. So I thought that was just kind of a unique idea and one that maybe for those of you that are using mini chat, you hadn't thought of. Number six, customer feedback and surveys. So I think this is kind of fun because a lot of times in the past, I used to do at the end, you know, when I was in the party space, I would have a customer survey and I used it, yes, to collect data, but also to like pick my winner or, you know, and, and to go back and, you know, give me a chance to reach out to everyone that was actively engaged in the party, right? Because, you know, when we have those connections, it leads to a conversion. And so I really like this idea of collecting feedback, surveys. You could even use it as like a quiz. I think that's a lot of fun. People love quizzes nowadays. There's a really great platform called Interact. Um, you know, we are not affiliated with it, but we're going to be using it some because we think it's a really awesome resource. 
Um, but you could even just do, go to your Google Drive and for free, create a little quiz on there as well or a survey. Um, and so this is, you can even use mini chat, not just to send the survey, but you can use it to collect the responses in like a more conversational manner. So it might be like, um, you know, what are your, you know, goals for your family budget the second half of this year? Or what are your New Year's resolutions for, you know, 2025? Can you believe like it's the second half of the year and we're almost to 2025? I'm like, oh my word. Anyway, <laughs> um, but okay. So maybe closer to the end of the year, you create a funnel where you're asking them what are their New Year's resolutions? And it gives them like four different things to pick from, right? One could be like financial freedom, one could be focus on my health. It could be, um, you know, anyway, whatever, different things, right? Like um, time freedom, whatever you want to put on there. You could, I would just pick a couple of things. And so then someone could click that and then it'll automate a response from you saying, you know, I really want to pay off more debt myself. Have you considered, right? You know, kind of basically it's automating a conversation based on their goal for the year. Okay, so that is like such a good idea. And you don't have to be the one starting the conversation. You might chime in, right? Like it get to a certain point in the conversation and then you chime in and say, you know, hey, I would love to hop on a call with you like 15 minutes. Let's talk more about this goal. And I know there's a couple of things that we can do that that would help you accelerate the ch and, you know, increase the chances of accomplishing it this year, right? So there's just a lot of fun ways that you can use it. Um, but specifically, I would say just the, you know, getting feedback, getting engagement, and, you know, just really having a more conversational manner versus like fill out this five, you know, page quiz or survey to get a discount, right? It's more of like, they want to talk to you. They want to hear from you. Number seven, event promotions and registration. We've done this where we say like, um, you know, if you want some to do some kind of opportunity event, or if you're doing a big mega bash with like your entire team where everyone can invite people to, um, you know, a fall fun, whatever extravaganza where you're sharing all these fall recipes and fall, you know, the new products that have launched in the new catalog or new fall trends. Maybe it's like a makeup and help, you know you know, a skincare thing and you're sharing like what's trending this fall, you know, and in um the in lifestyle and just all this different kind of stuff, right? So you could do some really fun things like basically any event that you have and you want to talk about on social media, you can tell people to comment a word like um whatever the name of the event is. Let's just say the event is like a fall extravaganza. So you could have them comment the word fall to get an invite to secure their seat or something, right? And then it would automatically message them. Now, of course, you have to set up the funnel on mini chat. <laughs> you can't just go out and say, "Oh, you know, comment fall." Um otherwise, you have to manually message every single person that comments, right? And so I don't know about you guys, but I would much rather have something like this automatically set up so it's messaging people and I don't have to do all the work, okay? Number eight is um, a very strategic like sales funnel, okay? So it could be essentially guiding people from, you know, just an automated sales funnel, meaning it would just go from product discovery all the way to checkout. So it can also help you manage abandoned cart. So when people like decide, hey, you know, they were clicking on it and then they abandon the cart, meaning they they go out of it, they don't follow through, they don't purchase. And it can, li you can literally set up a little like campaign to message people, okay? And say like, hey, uh, you know, I just wanted to offer you, like if someone doesn't check out within like, you know, two hours, you can send a message and say like, Hey, I noticed you were interested in blank. Here's a 10% off code. Or, you know, I would love to know, do you have any questions about it before you dive in or something? Right. And so that you can kind of re-engage the customer. And I think that's just a really cool tool and something that, you know, Fortune's in the follow-up, right? And so many times 
it's not that we don't want to follow up pe with people, but it's just a matter of sometimes we can't keep up with leads or we forget or life gets busy or, you know, your kids spill milk and you have to set the phone down. And the next thing you know, you have, you know, dropped the ball on the sale or dropped the ball on the lead. And so I just think, you know, if we have systems in place, like we are going to be as able to scale at the rate of the systems that we implement. Okay. Number nine is content delivery. I think this is a fun way to share different things. So like for our business, for example, one, once, you know, there've been a couple of times I would say, Hey, comment, you know, 58. And I would message the podcast episode link. Right. And so it could be that you recorded a little video about the business opportunity. Maybe it's like seven minutes long, right? Not even maybe five to seven minutes, short and sweet. And you're talking about the business, um, you know, or you have a new product that's launching and you want to show everybody the product because you know it's going to be a hot seller and you have recorded a video of yourself with this product. Then something really cool that you could do is you can, you know, tell people to comment or message you or reply to a story with that specific word, that specific, maybe the name of the product, and then you can send them a video, right? This is just providing additional content for engaging with you. It could be you send out a newsletter, you send out like a little freebie or some kind of guide or, um, you know, 25 hacks to a healthier lifestyle. It could be, you know, blog post. It could be a video even that your company has made. You know, if you have um, maybe some kind of content on a new product releasing and you want to give like a teaser video, maybe your company has already made one and, and or you want to give people a peek behind the scenes. There's so many things that you guys can do, even just delivering a PDF. Like if you've got something valuable that you want to share with people, this is a great way to do it. And you know what, when, when someone is providing value, it builds trust. And so, yeah, you might be thinking, but that takes a lot of energy or time to, to give out free resources or to create free resources. But I just want to encourage you that if you are willing to provide value, the paycheck will follow, okay? The the increase in income will will eventually happen, but you have to be willing to serve. This is an industry that is so much about service because the sales follow after service, okay? So you've got, you just got to trust me on this one. So think about something in your, you know, opportunity in your niche that you, some way that you could provide value, some kind of freebie. It could be a video, it could be a um, PDF, it could be a, you know, just just so many different things, a newsletter, a blog post, whatever. It could be a workout routine. You know, it just depends on your specific niche. Think about something that is really valuable that you want to share that could go beyond just if you post it once on social media, right? Like what is something that you know you can you like everyone could benefit from or would be interested in learning about? And then finally, number 10, drip campaigns. And so for those of you that are like, these are a lot of, there's a lot of marketing jargon that you're unfamiliar with. That's okay. All right. A lot of this stuff I wouldn't have understood myself. Um, until a couple of years ago when I dove more into marketing and social selling and really learning more and uh, refining my own personal skills on how to market effectively. But you can create a series of like timed messages that will nurture your leads, okay? So it could be an educational series, maybe even like an onboarding sequence or promotional campaigns. And so- there's a lot of different ways that mini chat can be used, you guys. And it's not to say that it, any one or all of these strategies are going to, you know, drastically change your business. But I would go as far to say that if you will match like several of the different strategies in regards to, 
you know, the effort that you put in is going to determine the, your output, right? And so, yeah, you're going to have to pay for the service. You're going to have to, um, but I don't, it, it's not very much money, guys. It's like 10 bucks a month or something. I can't even remember what it is, but it's not much money, okay? And so you pay this minimal investment into an automation service that you can take advantage of that not only will deliver content that will, you know, get your a response to people almost right away, but it's also going to help you keep track of and kind of categorize your leads in the background. And so while some of you, like I said, might be sitting here like, oh my goodness, I, this is so crazy and like overwhelming. I just want to encourage you, first things first, take a deep breath, okay? And you don't necessarily have to do it. The way that people are using it, and that is the most effective way, is for someone to comment a specific word and you send them a message with the link or the video or the resource right away. And so you can, if you're unsure of it, you could totally just go to YouTube and type in how to set up mini chat, how to set up a campaign. It is very, very user-friendly. Like I have set them up on both the app and on the desktop, like on my computer. And so either way it works and it's effective. And I just love it because I don't feel like I have to be tied to my phone. The system is working for me. And I know that if you're like me, one of the biggest reasons I started this business was so that I could take back my time. You know, I was craving freedom, time freedom, financial freedom, you know, freedom from circumstances that I could not control without having that extra income. And so the more you can optimize and automate your time, the more effective you'll be and the faster and further you can go. Thanks so much for listening to the Kingdom Minded Mompreneur. If you loved what you heard today, could you stop and give us a five-star rating and review? It helps our visibility on podcasting platforms so others like you can hear more of this message. Also, if this episode encouraged you, we would love for you to pass it along to your own biz bestie and anyone else who could benefit. Click the link in the show notes. Bye for now.